there were some crazy smells here. And so this was the most amount of like mouse and rat feces, mainly mouse, uh, that I'd seen in a property up until that point in time, which was saying something. In case you guys don't know what you're looking at, this legit is all rat feces. What is up, YouTube? Matt McKeever here. And if you guys can believe it or not, it's almost been five years now that uh, we've been doing this YouTube thing. And so it's been making me just a little bit reminiscent. And so I thought it'd be fun in today's video to actually just go back and look at the very first videos I shot and recorded in the summer of 2016. I actually released them. I think the very first video dropped. It was either August 31st or September 1st. We'll probably figure it out in today's video because what I want to do with you guys is just kind of let's go down memory lane. And so we will talk about real estate investing in this as well. We're going to talk about the real estate market in London, Ontario as well. But first of all, let's just uh, let's dive into some of the videos that I originally released. So what I'm going to do here, um, you guys can't see it, but I'm going to sort the date that they were added. And so right here, these are the three very first videos I ever recorded. Um, so that was the... Uh, I believe this was the second ever Jeff Weibel limo tour that we hosted, but this was the first one I ever recorded and put up on YouTube. And uh, then the very first Burning Elias Street. So this is what I consider like really my very first YouTube video. And uh, then also these these three videos I all released at the same time. And then one where this was a really short one where I, Jeff and I went to a viewing at a uh, property that you could probably describe as being a little rough around the edges. And I actually got fleas at that property. Uh, that was the first time. And after that, I started a policy of always wearing pants and socks to uh, just about every showing I ever went to. All right. So this was the very first uh, Weibel limo tour that we ever recorded. And this house, there's actually a crazy story behind this house that I'll let you guys in a second, but let's just hey watch guys, the Matt trailer. Here, I just want to shoot you a quick video and let you know what I got up to this Sunday. So uh, me and my realtor, Jeff Weibel, that's this guy. Uh, just uh, wrapped up doing our second limo property tour. And so what we do for these property tours is- This was like literally my very first like vlog style thing where I'm just talking in front of the camera just being like, around the four yeah, cities, check out crazy. a few properties that are for sale. Jeff usually has one or two pocket listings as well. And uh, we check- now, Also, how crazy is that? That that's like the size of, uh, actually maybe this was the very first limo tour we ever did then. But essentially it's just like a dozen investors going along, checking out properties. Um, and uh, a few of these names you might recognize, right? There's Kellen from way back in the day, obviously Jeff Weibo. We've got Dylan McLaughlin, who uh, was um, one of our first uh, a wholesaler, like the very first wholesaler, the first person I JV'd with on a couple of wholesale deals. And he was uh, one of the first three people that moved into the mansion. So it was myself, Peter and Dylan. And then we've also got Tom and we didn't know it back then, but Tom actually, he's Tom now, the contractor that works for me. So again, he helps me with all my apartment bird properties. So uh, I actually didn't even realize this going into this video, but like this is literally one of those, your network is your net worth sort of moments. So that's a photo from the very first limo tour we ever did. Um, I mean, the agency, the brokerage Jeff works for, uh, I'm pretty sure they've had, they've been in like three different offices since, uh, even just we shot that video. So that's crazy to see, but let's keep going on. And uh, I'm just gonna scroll, scrub through here a little bit, but get to uh, some of the initial viewings we did here. Oh, this was, yeah, some of my first music overlays too. This music's a little too loud, but uh, lesson learned. I didn't really know what I was doing. And so I forget what this property was for sale for. I wanna say it was like for sale for, 120,000 and it was in rough shape. We thought it was an insane price. Eventually though, it was bought by a flipper who flipped it and then another flipper bought it and reflipped it. And I think a third person tried flipping it again. Like people kept doing shitty renovations on it and just kind of fixing it a bit at a time. I'm pretty sure it ended up selling for 240 in one of the sales. Yeah. And I don't think in this video, Kellen, yeah. In this video, Kellen had had never bought a property before. So this is when Kellen was still a property virgin. Um, that's awesome. Man, that is crazy. There were some crazy smells here. And so 
this was the most amount of like mouse and rat feces, mainly mouse, uh, that I'd seen in a property up until that point in time, which was saying something. This is wild. Yeah, that's the real issue. Is the There's Chef Weibo, the real estate agent. Oh, man, this makes me so happy. It's crazy to think of how far we've came and gone, right? Like, I had just quit my job six months ago to do real estate investing because I hated the day job thing and I'm just constantly answer to other people. Oh, what happened here? There we go. Look, that's all rat feces there. Believe it or not, like, in case you guys don't know what you're looking at, this legit is all rat feces. Um, oh, and this is probably one of the first times I was explained after repair value. And this is like when Kellen's asking, how much would you pay for this? I'm like, well, first we'd have to figure out what's the property worth, then subtract all the costs, figure out what your profit margin is. But that's all rat feces there, or uh, mouse feces, guys. Oh, man. And this is when we had the small little limo. Everyone's like cramped in. I didn't know how to use autofocus, so everything is totally out of focus. Kellen's looking skeptical. Oh man, I, I didn't realize that this property was on this limo tour as well. So this property ended up being on multiple limo tours. Uh, originally it was for sale by a different agent, but the owner was so impressed that we kept bringing through different crews of investors with our limo tour. He eventually gave Jeff the listing and Jeff eventually sold that property. Um, I think that was like a, a fourplex. And I always remember kind of thinking of it as a castle just because of the way it was laid out, as well as the dude had literally a full size statue of armor. Um, I'm pretty sure in a future limo tour video, we might even give you a full tour of it. I don't think that I did it in this video, but no, um, I was too nervous to uh, ask permission to shoot inside houses back then that were still occupied. So, um, but yeah, crazy story. I think he ended up selling it for four or 420,000. Um, it was a beautiful property, kind of a unique location. That was the only thing that really held me back from wanting to buy it then. But I mean, nowadays it probably sell for closer to 800, I imagine. And so here we are. This is still when my burn alive street was under renovations. So the second video we're going to jump to in a second, it actually uh, is this property. But there's Tom, there's Kellen, there's me. Oh, man, that's so funny. Oh, and there's Murray. I still think Murray's waiting to buy. He's still got analysis paralysis. It's a real thing, guys. You got to be careful. Oh, this is back when I drank beer and we were at uh, Anderson Craft Ales. We always love supporting local uh, businesses. And that actually used to be a big part of my YouTube channel back in the day where I would just go around in the Old East Village because that was one of the primary... Uh, one of the primary markets I was investing in and just trying to support local businesses because I knew it was good for me as the investor. I knew it was good for the community. I knew it was good for the business. And us cheers into financial freedom. And wouldn't you know it, the guys that actually stuck to this shit, myself, Jeff Weibel, Kellen, and Tom, we all now have real estate portfolios. Me and Jeff already had, but like Kellen and Tom both developed real estate portfolios after this video. Um, Kellen quit his day job within the five years that between when this video was first shot and today. Tom, essentially, I, I pay him very good money now to be our contractor. And I think he's very happy with uh, where he's at in life at this current stage as well. So um, I think everyone's literally doing better than they could have ever imagined um, that stuck with real estate in this uh, from this limo tour. Jeff doing a Facebook Live classic. It's actually wild to think of how much we've came. Oh, and Mo, I don't know if Mo ever actually bought real estate. Mo, you should have got in on that back in the day. And just a swarm of investors going to talk to a neighbor, see if they wanted to sell their property. Classic us. All right, well, that was actually super cool. And uh, I wanna go watch the other video that uh, I always think of as being related to the very first launch Oh, I was hoping it would come up in my recommended, but it's at least nice to see the rest of my videos come up recommended. Let's jump back, go to uh, and watch the very first burn of live stream. Now, you guys wouldn't believe the amount of takes that were involved in shooting this. Back then, I had this, this mindset, this opinion that I needed to literally speak perfectly in one take. And so I think I deleted all the uh, 
hard drives that had all the different takes. But I swear to God, I probably tried this at least I don't somewhere between 30 and 80 times. I tried doing perfect takes. And then eventually I tried doing perfect like five to 10 minute takes. And it's just it's so funny now because like you don't worry about the imperfections the way you once did. But boy, was I all up in my headspace. Come on, Internet. What are you doing here? There we go. <laughs> and if you guys didn't realize, like in um, almost all my videos I shot, I bought like three or four of these uh, blue t-shirts at Giant Tiger. They were like $7 each. I decided they were going to be my YouTube uh, shirts. That was back before we came up with Problems and Profits and I made all the merch. And literally now all I wear is Problems and Profits stuff to the point where when we're shooting skits, it pisses off uh, my team because I literally have no like clothes to wear that aren't Problems and Profits. Oh, come on. All right. Well, anyways, this doesn't seem to be working. This seemed like a really good idea. I hope you enjoyed at least this little uh, start to going down memory lane. It's too bad that we couldn't get into uh, burning a lie streak because I really wanted to break down and discuss the numbers with you guys and share my perspective. All right, guys. Well, I just about given up on my internet there and the ability to actually load the second video I want to share with you guys on this uh, jump down memory lane so let me pull up my screen share again and i've got the burn a live street video working i'm really excited to uh listen along with it as with you guys as well and let me know have you actually seen this video before have you gone back and watched classic matt mckeever um at least a thousand people liked it enough to smash the like button and only four down votes i'll take it um and so this is back when i wasn't sure whether i wanted to be matt mckeever uh or whether i wanted to have a brand around it so i was Think about launching this brand called Fi.ca, and the whole concept was financial independence. A, you know, the thing us Canadians say. .ca. I thought it was kind of clever, but it turns out yeah, I didn't really love it, so I just stuck with Matt McKeever. Exactly how I. Oh, and it freezes again. God damn it, that pisses me off. Uh. Seems like it just wasn't meant to be. But if you guys would like to see me go down uh, memory, the memory hole or memory lane in regards to other videos I've shot in the past, let us know in the comment section. I would actually really enjoy going through and watching a bunch of my old original videos, but only if it provides you guys value. And uh, yeah, let's know what other videos should we be creating now in 2021? Because those videos were back from 2016. Uh, just crazy to think about. But again, hope you got value. Smash the like button. Hit subscribe if you're new to my channel. And remember, building an empire does take time, but it's only been five years that we've been playing around here on this YouTube stuff. I'm pretty happy with what's occurred. And I think everyone else that was there on that very first limo tour uh, that actually stuck to real estate, they're pretty happy with where they landed as well. So persistence is absolutely key, guys. I'll see you in the next video. Thanks.